Okay, back with another edition of Pro Tips Betting. Today, Wednesday, 27th of February. I'm gonna start as always to go through yesterday's tips. Uh, yesterday, the uh, safe bet of mine was Wolverhampton victory over Huddersfield Town. Uh, sadly, here we can see that uh, Wolverhampton lost this game. 1-0 to Huddersfield. Uh, next game. Lazio AC Milan. Predicted here a 0-0 uh, 1-1 draw game. Uh, ended up a 0-0 game, I think. Yes, 0-0. No goals. So we got that one. Could even uh, bet on this, like I said yesterday, on uh, under 2.5 goals. Uh, the last game for the safe bet yesterday was Leeds or a draw. And sadly here again, uh, QPR won this game 1-0. So Leeds are in a bit of trouble lately for um, trying to get the first place in the championship. Okay, that was uh, yesterday. Now let's go through today's games. We're gonna take with us all the Premier League games today. Also gonna pick out... Uh, I think we got one game in Denmark, yes. And we have also the Cup in France. Uh, we got some games in Italy in the B series. I'm gonna look through them as well. And also the Cup in Italy. And uh, I think also we have uh, some Scottish games here. Scotland. I'm gonna take these as well. And then also we should have the Cup in Turkey. Sally uh, Galatas Rai here has already played. Um, good thing though, because Galatasaray lost 4-2. Okay. So that makes it 19 games. And we can go ahead and click off the... Or uncheck the Galatasaray game. 18 games for today. Uh, start right ahead with the first game in the Premier League, Arsenal versus Bournemouth. Right off here, I would predict this is gonna be a Arsenal game, uh, Arsenal victory, but I also, also think that uh, even though Bournemouth is odds at 8, they're probably gonna score at least one goal today. Uh, Arsenal low. Of course, big favorites, 140, and a draw, 525. Arsenal, last five, three wins, two losses. Uh, one loss against um, Manchester City. And uh, Bournemouth here, 1-1 one, one versus Wolverhampton, draw game, two losses. One being uh, from, uh, or, um, sorry, uh, against Liverpool. And they actually beat Chelsea 4-0 and West Ham 2-0. So, as I said, they can absolutely score goals. And they scored four goals against Chelsea. Last game, Arsenal-Bournemouth uh, was a 2-1 victory to Arsenal. Game before that was 2-1 Bournemouth. So, my prediction here today is uh, uh, actually a draw. Uh, even though Arsenal should take the game. Um, I won't gamble on this one, but I will watch it on TV and uh, do a live bet for the game. The next one here is Southampton Fulham. Just again, I'm going to do some quick notes for myself or the bet slip later. Southampton Fulham. Southampton being the favorites on two in odds. Uh, this also feels like a draw game for me, straight off. Um, last five for Southampton, two losses, two draws, one win. 
Fulham bad uh, form, uh, four losses, one win. Fulham though won the last game 3-2 and the game before that and in the FA Cup was a victory to Southampton 1-0. Uh, again, absolutely feels like a draw game to me, but um, the uh, form of uh, Fulham is uh, really bad and uh, Southampton could could take this win as well. Next one, Chelsea Tottenham. Chelsea here being a slight favorite, 237 in odds versus Tottenham on 320. A good thing for Tottenham, um, Harry Kane is back. Uh, Chelsea still has uh, Cahill out. Head -head. Uh, Chelsea played now a draw in the uh, cup final versus City, lost in the end on penalties. So one loss, two, three losses and uh, two wins in the last five. Um, Tottenham, four wins, one loss against Burnley recently. And uh, between the teams, uh, Chelsea won 3-1 last time and Tottenham won one nil today here I uh, again actually believe it's gonna be a draw but um, uh, Chelsea uh, had a good game uh, last match against uh, Manchester City and they could also win this game so maybe a, a double chance here home or draw another, th another thing is um, but they're probably both the teams are gonna score a goal today, I believe. So uh, maybe both teams to score or above one and a half goal. <laughs> Next one, a, a tough match for Manchester United today versus Crystal Palace. Uh, the injury list is um, yeah, not not good really for Manchester United. It says also here that uh, Rashford uh, is out. Uh, he played uh, the full 90 minutes uh, struggling versus Liverpool last game. Uh, over to the head-to-head. -head. Crystal Palace, three wins, two draws last five. And Manchester has three wins, one loss, one draw. They played a uh, draw game uh, last game. And um, Manchester United won before that 3-2. Um, Crystal Palace recently though had a very very good game against Leicester winning 4-1 I would say uh, Crystal Palace is tougher than many, many people would think today uh, Manchester United though pays out good 237 and for me this would be a double chance play with either draw or away even though, of course, Manchester United should take it, but they are, again, struggling with injuries. Quick note for myself here as well. Okay, the next game, <coughs> Liverpool versus Watford. Uh, you can see the odds here. Liverpool being a crazy favourites, I would say here. Um, a draw is 6 in odds and a away win for Watf Watford is uh, 12. Uh, Liverpool now recently got Firmino out. Uh, see also that Keita is uh, out due to illness and uh, Robertson has an arm injury which he picked up against um, uh, Manchester United. Head to head we have uh, Liverpool here with now four draws actually, the last five and one win. Watford three wins and one draw, one loss. Liverpool won the la latest game between the teams 3-0 and 5-0 before that. Okay, quickly also check the standings. Uh, Liverpool on first leading with one point and Watford is, is pushing for the Europa placement. 40 points though on seventh place um this is kind of the same game uh, for me as with uh manchester the manchester game um should absolutely be a um, win for liverpool but they do have some injuries 
some players out and uh, Watford isn't that bad of a team really probably also gonna score uh, at least one goal here so it's up to Liverpool to score more than one um, me personally I would not uh, play uh, Liverpool victory on uh, 128 in odds um, I would uh, rather go for a um, fun bet slip or a high, high stakes bet slip as I like to call them and go for a draw here or maybe draw till uh, half time you can quickly check the uh, odds on Unibet to see if there's any difference you see a Liverpool on 129 and a draw on 6 um, also here half time half time draw 275 would maybe go for that okay over to the last game today in the Premier League Manchester City versus West Ham this here should of course be a uh, Manchester City win they now have uh, Fernandinho and Laporte out due to the Chelsea game also uh, Jesus is still out and Stones as well um, the head-to-head -head, Manchester City flawless last five uh, with uh, five wins West Ham one win two draws and two losses Manchester City 4-0 the last game and 4-1 before that should absolutely win the game today but again a odds on 114 isn't appealing to me and uh, me personally I would not play a handicap game on this one so maybe live bet and uh, wait for the odds to rise a bit over to the uh, Danish Cup we got Odense versus Esbjerg. Odense here being favorites on 155. Head to head Odense with three wins, one loss, one draw. And Esbjerg, two losses, two wins, and one draw. As you can see here, Odense won the uh, latest uh, game between the teams 2 1 and Esbjerg 2 0 before that. So uh, my tip for this one is a draw today in the Danish Cup. Okay, the Cup in France. We got René versus Orléans. And René being the favorites on 136. Uh, René though, two draws, two wins, one loss, last five, and Orléans with three wins and two draws. Orléans though, playing in the French League 2. Uh, René won the uh, first uh, game, never mind about that actually, that's from 2014. René should absolutely win this game, but... Um, check the teams and uh, it's a cup so really anything can happen in this game but again league one versus league two Rene big home team favorites the next game Leon Cayenne Leon here 120 in odds versus 13 uh, Leon Two losses, two wins, one draw, last five, and Cayenne with two draws, two losses, and one win, or a draw. Uh, last time the teams met, 2-2, two -two. before that Lyon won nil. Now this is also a cup game, and uh, <clears throat> you never know, Lyon might uh, not uh, play with the, um, the biggest stars in the team. And uh, for me here, this could easily, easily be a draw game, but check the uh, lineups before placing anything here. Maybe do a live bet on this one as well. Over to Italy, the B series. We have uh, Venezia versus Perugia. Very even odds here. 
Um, according to bookmaker, bookmakers, this uh, could be a draw game. Uh, we're gonna check the last five, and uh, as you can see, we have two losses, two draws, and one win. And Perugia has three losses and two wins. Perugia won the last game 1 0, and uh, Venezia before that 3 0. And I gotta say, I do agree with the bookmakers here today, and um, I would play a draw on this game. A little quick note for me again here on my papers. Then we got <coughs> the second game in Series B. B in Italy, Spezia versus Livorno. Spezia being favorites on 185. Uh, they lost the two recent matches though. One two matches before that and one four four draw. Livorno two wins, two draws, one loss. Spezia, the home team today, won three one on away um, turf last time. And they won 3 0 before that. For me, um, this uh, should be a home win, paying out 185. Um, but I don't know how you guys feel about the Series B in Italy. Uh, I think I will um, bring this on to my safe bet today. Over to the Coppa Italia in Italy. Fiorentina versus Atol Atalanta. Again here, pretty even odds. Checking head to head, we can see Fiorentina been playing three draws, the last five and two wins. Atalanta though, two losses and three wins. Fiorentina won the la last game 2-0, and the game before that was 1-1. Um, for me here, feels like a Fiorentina or a draw. Maybe, uh, maybe playing the uh, double chance here. But again, it's a cup game, and uh, please check the lineups before placing anything here. Over to Scotland, we got Aberdeen versus Hamilton. Aberdeen here being big big favorites, paying out 125. Uh, three wins, one draw, one loss, last five games. And Hamilton, three losses, one draw, and one win. Aberdeen won the last game 3 0, 3 0 before that, and 3 0 before that again. Uh, probably gonna win here today as well. Um, but Again, 125 isn't that much, but combine it with a couple of other games and you should be fine. Can quickly check the standings here as well. Aberdeen here on third place with 50 points and Hamilton on the 11th uh, place for relegation with 18 points. Over to Hearts versus Celtic. Celtic probably being favorites. Uh, yes, on 153. Would say that is pretty decent uh, odds, really. Uh, can go straight down here to the head to head and check uh, that Celtic won the last game 5 0 and 3 0 before that. Playing away as well. Um, Celtic, three wins, two losses, last five. Uh, the two losses were in the uh, Europa League versus Valencia. And the uh, hearts here, two draws, one loss, two wins. And for me, this uh, will be on my safe bet today. A Celtic victory. Okay, next game. Kilmarnock versus Motherwell. Kilmarnock here. Three losses, the recent three matches and two draws. Motherwell, four wins and one loss. The latest game was against Celtic uh, for one loss. Kilmarnock, though, won the latest game against Motherwell 1 0. 
And they won before that as well, 3-1. Um, for me here, feels like a draw or an away uh, game. Draw or away. The next one on the list, Rangers versus Dundee. And here again, uh, typical uh, huge, huge favorites um, with the Rangers paying 116 in odds. Rangers, three wins, two draws, and Dundee, two losses, two draws, and one win. Uh, last game between the teams was a 1 1 game, and before that, Rangers won 4 0. For me today, uh, like I said, the odds are uh, so bad, I would say. Uh, Rangers are such huge favorites in this game, paying out 116. And uh, since they last time played a draw game 1-1, uh, my feelings for this game is that I will not play a uh, handicap game uh, giving away a goal or two to Dundee in this game. So I will stay away from this game, or um, since the odds are this high on a draw game, could even gamble with some small cash on uh, a draw. But I would probably just stay away from this one. St. Johnston versus Hibernian. <coughs> uh, pretty even odds. Uh, you can see St. Johnston are uh, four losses of one draw, and Hibernian are three wins, two losses. St. Johnston, though, won the uh, last game between the teams 1 0, and it was a draw before that, and even the game before that as well. The standings quite even on the table here, 6th and 7th place, both teams with 38 points. And uh, for me this here feels like a draw game today, maybe also Hibernian could win the game. Uh, bookmakers do after all have them as favorites as well. But a draw, double chance, draw or away win for me. Over to the last game of the day in Turkey, the Cup. Kos Tepe, I think it's uh, pronounced, versus Yeni Malatyaspor. Malatyaspor. Uh, odds 190 for the favorites, and the favorites have here four losses and one win. The last five. The away team, two losses, two draws, and one win. Both are playing in the Premier um, or the highest uh, league in Turkey. And Yeni won the last game 1 0, and the game before that 3 2. Today, here, I do believe this is gonna be a draw game, and the odds are 350 for this. Um, yeah. So that's it for today's predictions and analyze. Um, again, if there was any games I uh, should have been looked into here, uh, please leave a comment, give your thumbs up or thumbs down. Uh, be sure again to subscribe to the channel to get these latest videos, as I uh, don't have time to put them out um, before it's... Uh, couple of hours until the games start. Uh, also, check the description for the uh, link to the Discord community where you can reach me and other, other people for tips and bets. Okay, so uh, thank you again for watching and the uh, bet slips from me will be on screen in one moment. Thank you and good luck. Mm -hmm.